Okay, Cam, we've got our local media here, and they're going to ask you some questions. All right, now let's get to it. <laughs> Congratulations, Cam. What was your reaction to being and getting that call from Cincinnati? Man, honestly, man, I was just so excited. I couldn't even say any words. <laughs> 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 well, it was definitely, man. It was just a dream come true. You could say uh, my visit there was amazing. Uh, you know, just to even get picked up by a team, especially the Bengals, is you know surreal to me right now. And even though Coach, you know Zach, he played at the at the the great university in Nebraska, man, it makes it even better. What well, take me through your visit here? What what made it so amazing for for you coming in here? And what what was that connection like? Honestly, man, the staff is great. Uh, everybody on the staff, I could say. Uh, even from when I got to the airport for, you know, through communication of me getting from place to place, uh, they were on time with everything. And, you know, just very, you know, professional, you could say, with everything they do. And I really got along with their DB coach, man. We had, a you know, a great time in there. We were just kicking it, not even talking about football. And, you know, we ran out of time. But, you know, that's the type of conversations that you want to have with coaches and have that, you know, relationship. So did you kind of leave – feeling like man i feel like i might end up at cincinnati that day <laughs> it's crazy because i did <laughs> <laughs> you remember if it was coach burks was the one you were chopping it up with i believe so yes sir what, what did you like about him and in, in your interaction with him man he's just a real guy man you, you he doesn't give you any fake stuff i can say uh, our conversation was as genuine as possible and he just you know let me know everything you know basically that i would be coming in to do and uh, what I, you know, what he expected from you know a rookie to come in, you know, produce. Cam, did you tell anybody that you thought that maybe you'd end up with the Bengals after the visit went? <laughs> I was no, not at all, man. I didn't. Uh, I kind of kept it to myself. I told my agent, you know, he, you know, marked down some things, but other than that, no, I did it. How do you think you fit in, in this defense, given what you know about it? Man, honestly, I feel like I fit great. You know, I'm very versatile, and they can put me either at corner, nickel, or safety. So. And I have the opportunity, you know, come in there and help the defense out, and you know, hopefully we get back to that Super Bowl and you know make something happen. Cam, who are your favorite corners to uh, to watch and to study? Honestly, man, I've studied after Jalen Ramsey a lot, man. Keep to lead. I just love their footwork, man. Get off the uh, press, man, and get out of their breaks as fast as possible. That's one thing I worked on during the off season was getting out of my breaks as fast as possible, and you know, no false steps. And I told that to every coach that I met with, and that's one thing that I. What I really harped on during the offseason because you, you can see in my film, I, you know, get high and, you know, one second late off a PV or a pick. And, you know, I, I re get really frustrated with myself because I want to be great. So, you know, that's one thing I was really working on. But Jalen Ramsey, Keith to lead. Uh, Jair Alexander, you know, it's, it's a couple of guys. Cam, one thing that the coaches brought up is how you coming here can bring the or raise the competitiveness level up in the cornerback room. What kind of competitor are you? Honestly, man, I just want to be first. <laughs> and that's in everything I do. I don't care if we're playing, you know, badminton or, you know, tennis, soccer. I, I don't know. You know, any sport possible. I always want to be first. And I promise you that once I come in there and get in that deep room, they'll feel my presence. You know, just because I'm a competitor, dog. I love it. You know, you say I can't do something, I'll show you that I can. And it's always been like that. How much has your background, having played quarterback and wide receiver, improve you you know make your ball skills so good on the other side of the football route recognition how much better are you at, in the secondary having played those offensive positions <laughs> it helps me so much i could say uh you know just making that transition from you know playing quarterback and being recruited as that having to learn you know looking at the defense from the offensive view and then when i got the cornerback it was you know the total opposite so you know just getting to that position i really have to you know Get in there with Coach Fisher at Nebraska, and he, you know, took me down from the bottom of nothing into what I am now. But, you know, it, it helps me a lot, you know, because I know formations. I know down and distance, you know, different things on the field that can help me out. But, you know, it, it, you know, it works, man. It helps me when needed. Cam, uh, Coach Taylor was talking about how you're a guy that brings juice to practice, and that's something they liked a lot. Uh, where does that come from, and, and kind of why are you built that way? Kind of always had it, man. I'm a kid from three, three, four, man. Montgomery, Alabama. I was born and raised there, and I feel like you know any, any guy that you know is from here, we have a different type of juice. Uh, juice came from you know me playing quarterback and me playing after you know Cam Newton, and had him number one and everything. But you know I, I transferred over to being a DB, and you know, I feel like I you know I my drip is cool in the game, and you know I just play with that tenacity that a lot of players don't play with. So I call it juice. Do you know Daxton Hill at all? 
Yeah, I do. Yeah, he played in Michigan. Well, we played we played him a couple of years. So while I was at uh, Nebraska. Do you have any a relationship with him by chance? I want to say not not too much, but we will most definitely. I will tell you that. <laughs> you uh, you both ran a four three eight forty yard dash. So do yes, you think, sir. You think there's a, a race in the future of the two two top picks? We can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm a competitor, man. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> So, as a competitor, how much do you look forward to uh, practicing against Jamar Chase and T. Higgins? That was the first thing I thought about. I can't wait. <laughs> Honestly, man, like I said, like Coach said, I, you know, I bring the juice at practice, and it's just like the game. And you feel me? Like, just going against those top receivers like that and just helping my game so much to where, you know, guarding other receivers won't be as hard. Uh, I can't wait to get out there and, you know, actually you know, get to practice in one-on-ones with those guys. Sounds like you've had a smile on your face since you got that phone call from the Bengals. Is is that the case? Are you on cloud nine? Man, it is the case. I've been smiling since I've been on the phone with you guys too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, ever since I saw the area code and the and the you know the city and state, I was you know very excited, man. So, besides the versatility, what's the best part of your game? Very physical, man. Uh, like you said, ball skills as well. But I feel like I'm a very physical corner, you know, safety-wise, nickel, whatever you want to put me. But I, I'm not scared to hit. A lot of guys, you know, aren't going put their head in there. But I will. And with anybody, I uh, don't care how big you are or anything, you know, the hype or not. But, you know, that's what I feel like I bring to the table. Do you remember when you were here, Cam? How recently was that? Like maybe three weeks ago, maybe. Okay. Two to three weeks ago, yeah. Did you, did, okay. you, did you know Stanley Morgan at all? Oh, yeah, that's my big bro, man. He actually, uh, we, he kind of brought me in as a DV. Uh, when he was playing receiver at Nebraska, I always tried to go against him. You know, just being, like I said, the competitor that I am. And I promise you, if you, you ask him and do an interview, he'll tell you that I was always the first one to try to, you know, knock out Stanley Morgan just because he was a superstar on the team. But, you know, I just had to solidify myself and show them that this freshman wasn't afraid to come in and, you know, work. Coaches kind of said that you know Stanley is a pretty beloved teammate here for the way he practices and stuff. Did that? Did he kind yes, of set the, set the pace for you there at Nebraska, where you saw the way he brought it every day, and it was kind of something that you followed. Most definitely, you could say that. Uh, that was someone I actually looked up to, even though he was on the offensive side. But as a leader and just some per- and as a person that you know never see quit, uh, it doesn't matter what he went through. Um, Family wise, you know, school wise, football wise, it didn't matter out that outside stuff. Once he stepped on that field, he was a problem, and that's a problem he didn't want to deal with. <laughs> Your head coach is a Nebraska Hall of Famer. Do you have? Yes, sir. Do you have any knowledge of Zach Taylor's career as a quarterback for the Cornhuskers? <laughs> I kind of do. I can say he made sure of that. <laughs> 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 what did he share? No, he was probably one of the best quarterbacks to come through Nebraska. <laughs> Honestly, man. Everyone, well, Cam, appreciate your time. Our team reporter Marissa Contepelli is going to reach out to you to do a quick Zoom, and then we'll let you get on with celebrating tonight. Congrats. All right, thank you. Congrats, Cam. Congrats, Cam. Congrats, Cam. Thank you. Welcome, Cam. All right, now. Can we just give?